stop a minute, baby, and tell your mother what's the matter. Oh, I don't know what to do. This is the end of everything. Tom asked me to marry him. You mean that flying lieutenant you met last year when you were singing at the army canteen? Yes, ma'am. He's being discharged from the army, and he's bringing his folks from Chicago. He wants us to get married just as soon as he gets here. But I don't see why you should be all broken up and crying about that. I thought you loved that boy. Oh, I do. I love him more than anything else in the world. But don't you see, he doesn't know that we are just poor people. He thinks that came from a society family. I'm sorry, child. Oh, Mother, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Oh, it's all my fault. You see, when I met Tom and he heard me sing at the canteen, why, well, he just took it for granted that anyone who had a trained voice like mine must come from a wealthy family. And I was scared to tell him that we were poor because I loved him so much. But then I found out that he came from one of the wealthiest families in the Middle West. Now, well, don't take on so, baby. Just you run along home and leave everything up to your old mother. I'm not going to let any child of mine lose her future husband just because of being poor. I scraped and saved all these years to give you the best in musical education for your singing. And now I'm... Ray, hold up. Run along. There's that old slave driver hollering again. Just you leave everything up to me. Ray, Ray, hold up. Now, don't you bother yourself about how I managed to get the use of this apartment. Just you leave everything up to me. But, Mother, how could you afford all this? You told me that you were spending all the money you had for my singing lesson. Run along into the bedroom and finish getting ready. I'll get the door. I understood Miss Mabel Page was away for the weekend. I wasn't aware that anyone was occupying her apartment while she was away. <laughs> yes, I, I, you're Mr. Peas, I'm sure. My sister Mabel told me about you. Your sister? Do you mean to say you're Miss Page's sister? Why, well, I didn't know she had a sister. I thought Mabel had informed you that my daughter and I were stopping over on our way to Washington to visit with my husband, the Constance. Oh, well, I'm sure everything will be all right then. If there's anything I can do, uh, please just mention it. I was just fixing the contact you. There's plenty to do. You know, my daughter's fiance, the Lieutenant Tom Powers, is arriving tonight to his house. Of course, you've heard of the wealthy Powers, haven't you? Oh, uh, yes, yes, of course. Why, you mean Judge Powers. Why, he's one of our most famous families. Well, yes. Tonight, we're announcing the engagement of my daughter and Judge Powers' son. And I would like you to have dinner prepared for five. Of course, I'll leave the planning of the menu to your expert judgment, Mr. Pease. I know you do everything just right. Why, of course, Mrs. Uh, 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 what did you say your name was? And, uh, by the way, I was wondering if uh, you could have this man to serve as the, uh, uh, what? Indeed, we can, ma'am. And if there's anything else you wish, why, please just call on me. We are happy and honored to have such prominent guests here. Your wish is my command. And, uh, what is his name? Uh, Porter. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, Porter, Paul, Mr. Thank you. You look quite welcome, I'm sure. And uh, I'm wondering if you will come with me, please, so I can show you just what to do. The guests will be arriving any minute. Just come with me. Uh, 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 come right with me, please. Uh, Porter, would you please? Oh, you better tell me something, but you better straighten me. I can get it. Matt, you can get somebody to sit with this. Uh, oh, oh, man. Man. Everything must be ready to serve at 8 o'clock sharp. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Peace. I would like to have the keys to Mabel Page's apartment. I have to get some contracts from her writing desk. They must be signed. Well, the key is already up, Mr. Gordon. Did you know that Miss Page's sister's occupying her apartment while she's away? What's that? What'd you say? Her sister? Why, I'll look. <laughs> well, that's strange. Better. Immediately. Immediately. Get the coat down. 
Yes. Who are you? I'm Mabel Page's sister. You're a liar. Mabel Page has no sister. I'm her manager. You're an imposter. I'll call a manager and have you thrown out of this hotel. Well, don't worry about a thing. I'll tell you, the guests will be here any minute. Just let's get him out of the way. Let's get him into that clothes closet there. Yes. Well, uh, here, here. Yes, sir. Oh, dear. Oh, just drag him out of the way. Yes. Hey, wake up and... How do you do? Will you please tell Mrs. Washburn that our guests are here? Washburn? Just a moment. Mr. Pease. How do you do? How do you do? Will you please tell Mrs. Washburn that our guests are here? Washburn? Washburn? Well, I'm afraid we don't have anyone by the name of Washburn. However, the name does sound familiar. Who's calling, please? Mr. and Mrs. Powers, now a son. Oh, why, of course, we've been expecting you, sir. Why, go right up to 2B. The boy will show you. Thank you. I feel I know you very well. Where is she? Oh, Tom, sweetheart. <laughs> Mom, what did I tell you? Isn't she the most beautiful girl you've ever seen? Yes. Better, darling. This is my mother and father. I you. Now let me look at you again. I don't want to rush you two, lovebird. But dinner will soon be served. And after that, you two will have plenty of time to look at each other. What up? Take Mrs. Powers and her husband to their room there. Porter, take Mr. Thomas there. He will occupy that room there. I must compliment you on your excellent taste. Thank you. I'm so happy that you enjoy it. They do serve good food here. Excuse me, butterman. Hello, Mr. P. My key, please. Well, your key is already up in stage. Did you know that your sister was here? My sister? My sister? Why, I call for you, Mr. Keyes. Oh, thank you. Talk to you, Mr. Well, Hello? I'll see about this. Oh, yes, yes. That'll be quite all right. <laughs> yes. Now, if we're all finished, I think we should go into the living room. Yes, I'm very anxious for Mother and Dad to hear better things.
Bandio. How right I was. Hasn't she a lovely boy? You're right, son. She sings beautifully. young folks 
celebrate their engagement. Oh, yes, yes, Porter. I'll have a drink. And I'm sure my friends will join me in a toast to the prospective bride and groom. And now, folks, I have a surprise for you. It's just about time for us to start our little show. We've got singing and dancing galore. And everybody is raring to go. Now, I just want you all to sit and relax whilst we dish out the facts. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you the boy with the crazy feet, Rocky. <laughs>
I'm going to change the mood. It is indeed a pleasure to present to you lovely Tarzan in a jungle dance. <laughs> Let it hit the ground. Be no low down hound. Cat put it back. 
Drop that skin eases back in there, Jim. Let it shower 60 miles an hour. I sympathize with you, but that's tough to see me through. So if you want to stay fat, go get yourself a rat. No kitty, be no clown. Snatching rats and stuff ain't sound. Throw it from me, John. Put it down. No, cat, please leave it late at me. Bring it down. Crowd it, yes. Slap that skin, then let it shower from ten miles an hour. Feed the action, cut out the ration, crack it, slide home through it from it. Say, Bernard, don't let your big head be hard to come around, put it down. Yeah, suck it to me, yeah, yeah, just suck it to me, yeah. Suck it to me, yeah. Boy, 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 boy.
That boy showing you how to fly. 